Hello, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to your love reading. Thank you so much for joining me, okay? You'll find my email listed in the description box below if you would like to book me for a reading. I offer personal readings, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as Chaudian, Travoyan, sentient readings, which are purely intuitive, meaning no cards will be used for those. And lastly, I also offer life path readings as well. Let's get started. Okay. I'm hearing somebody singing your name or singing your praises. So this could be a past lover um, still claiming you somehow. Okay. Um, somebody is, this might be an individual that has quite a huge ego and they feel like, they feel very self entitled to your energy this person might still be claiming you to other people saying they're still with you taurus is still mine don't 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 get it twisted um taurus is still mine but you're not okay so there's something to be mindful of somebody's still claiming you um this person is kind of refusing to believe that they've lost you or that they could have lost you um you have somebody here that feels like there's no way that you're no longer in their lives or there's no way that they no longer have access to you, Taurus, okay? Let's see. So singing your praises, okay? So, you know, telling lies. Because I feel like some of you might not even, you know, be in communication with this individual, which makes it a little bit creepy, doesn't it? That they're still doing this. But I feel like, Taurus, you know, you're very addictive. That's why you've been in certain relationships where people were very possessive, if not, you know, very fixated or even obsessive over you. Okay. You have this addictive alluring energy and i feel like your love the love you give to other people they cannot find it anywhere else okay hence they can't let you go like this person the magician wow okay right we have the magician the fool. These are two powerful major arcanists, Taurus, okay? I feel like you really tapped in, firstly. That's what I'm seeing here. You really tapped into source. You really tapped into the divine. You hold certain knowledge and wisdom that other people don't even have access to, okay? I feel like when you were created, God took his time with you to form you, to develop you. Because I feel like you are a very powerful individual and you have certain gifts, certain powers to attract whatever it is that you want for yourself. And I feel like you will always have your way in life. This is a season of having your way. If things have been difficult prior, right now there is a shift that is being created a door that is opening up a new chapter that is opening up for you and this is the season of taurus you can get whatever it is that you want okay you've learned a lot of lessons in this life and you've walked a very painful path but i feel like that didn't go unnoticed by the divine you are going to be placed in, in better pastures, in better, in better positions in your life, in all aspects, not only just love, okay, including love, though. If there has been some form of struggle or you have attracted people who just took advantage of you, those people were there to teach you about yourself. Those people were there to show you what you don't want in a relationship and what you don't want in a person.
So just take the lessons as they are, okay? And move forward with your life. Stop holding on to certain things that people did to you because they were only done for you, to shape you, not against you, to end you or destroy you, even kill you, no. Your path as a hierophant, you a hierophant, you know what a hierophant is, right? The teacher of life. And what is a teacher of life? If the teacher themselves hasn't gone through this life, you needed to go through those heavy, 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 painful experiences. You needed to experience all of that. So you can be the higher font. So you can be who you truly are. Because the higher font is you in your true nature and your true likeness. And before you can really attract what you truly desire and deserve, you need to be ready for it, Taurus. You need to be prepared, okay? So what you were going through was preparation for what you've always wanted for your destiny and for your fate, okay? Okay. So I feel like there are people that are still not over you, multiple people, I could count a few, okay? Whether these people, you were in a, in a friendship with these people or you had some form of encounter with these people. Whatever it is, you impacted them really greatly. And they find it hard to forget you, to move on from you because of that because they cannot find you anywhere else, nor can they experience another you because there's only one you, okay? So like these people could be having a rude, awake, a rude awakening that there is only one you. They thought that they'd be far better without you or they'd find somebody like you or they didn't care, but when reality struck, the truth came to light that you were always the ultimate prize, that you are what they need, and that you are the blessing. I feel like the people that took you for granted are in deep regret. They're regretting that now. Okay. People that refuse to acknowledge you, give you your flowers, okay? People that refuse to show you gratitude, show you love, affection, even attention. The people that neglected you, they are seeing their faults, not only seeing their faults, they know their faults because people know what they do, okay? But they're in a state of deep remorse and also deep regret and guilt. Because they thought you would perish, right? You would, you would dissipate. It would be the end of you. What they do to you would be the end of you. You would never, you know, this could also be spiritual warfare, right? They thought that it would be the end of you, but it was actually just the beginning of a very beautiful chapter in your life. And now those people are swallowing the words because you conquered every demon and you slay every giant that crossed your path. And you did it with so much grace that they cannot even say anything about it. Instead, they need to now show you respect, but it's too late. You don't need that. They put you through too much to even think that you value what they think of you. 
It's like people just need to get over themselves and stop feeling so entitled to you because you are nowhere to be found. They can miss you. Apologies, but, you know, screw them. Because you did not deserve anything that these people put you through. And they have no idea how long it took for you to heal from all of this. They just see you shining and they think, you know. But hey, man, you went through a hell of a lot. And they refused to acknowledge the pain that they caused you. They're only acknowledging it now because the divine is whipping their ass. Because karma, baby, karma is always around the corner just waiting for the right time to show itself. And now is the season of karma for everybody who has done anything ill towards you. Some of you might even see this firsthand. You might witness it. You might witness some people um, whom have deceived you go through a lot. Um, this is punishment. Those who were on the high horse when you were down and out, didn't even want to help you, didn't even want to acknowledge you. They're having a taste of their own medicine as punishment and also as a lesson to never step on your toes ever again. Because these people know that what they're experiencing is just not a coincidence because they know the things that they've done, not only to you, but to others as well. It's time to pay. You are so strong, so powerful, you know, and there are people who didn't even deserve your love. Just the I'm just hearing what people were saying, you know, behind closed doors. It's disgusting. But hey, none of it was true. What is disgusting is the fact that then they could smile in your face, that they could pretend to be friends with you or to love you or to care for you. It's exactly the devil. I'm so sorry, Taurus, for all that you went through. I know that you cared for the wrong people, okay? You gave your light to people who did not deserve it, okay? But the season of payment is due. They got to um, pay for what they did. I'm going to take these. There are cards that fell. One moment. Oh. Mm. I just heard this. Um, and if I fall, I'm back up just like before. That's you. Okay. They thought they had you, huh? They thought it would be the end of you, but they had another thing coming. We have the temperance. Right after this devil energy. Where the devil think he's playing, God is always present. Feel like you're in a time, you're it's like nothing can happen to you. They cannot touch you any longer. They cannot speak. They cannot even look at themselves in the mirror. For all the things they've said about you, now looking at you is like, time tells who's who. It's clear that the whole time 
you are a liar. You are this, you are that. But you are constantly good. That's why they did not deserve you. They did not have the same mindset as you to be good. That's why they did not deserve you, Taurus. Okay, we have the muse of inspiration. I feel like now they're taking notes from you on how to be, how to carry themselves. They want to be like you. They want to, they admire you so much. Okay. They want to be back in your good graces, but for what? To feed off of my energy? No. I feel like you are sick and tired of energy vampires. And the time to feed them is over. That's why you're going to watch them die. Because they're not going to be fed anymore. Okay? You're going to really see who's who. You're going to see the truth about people, Taurus. You're going to see the truth behind everything. And it might be a lot for you to take in. But I feel like intuitively, you might have known that mm -mm, you were not good for me. Mm -mm, you, you always had ulterior motives and certain ill and bad intentions towards me you know don't take it personally it's not about you you're not responsible for the choices that people make and the type of people that people are okay and their way of being you just stick to be who you are with this temperance this angelic energy a pure inspiration to other people muse inspiration and continue to be the blueprint after all, we are here to create and inspire. And if they're inspired, let them be inspired. But they cannot duplicate you. They cannot clone you. And they can never be you. It's clear. Okay? All they can do is take notes on how to do it like Taurus. But they can never be Taurus. And that's why they're swallowing the words. They thought you would be done for. But like a turtle, slowest win the, wins the race. Slowest wins the race because you take your time with it. And God took his time with you. And now, baby, you can no longer be underestimated anymore. It's your time. Go crazy. Okay, go crazy. You deserve it. You deserve it. Forgive them. Okay. Forgive them. Don't place a heavy burden on your heart heart. To, to not forgive them and to hold on to what they've done. As I said, the time is coming for them to pay and it, it is here already for most of them. Okay? You just need to be grateful for who you are, that you didn't fall into who they are. That's how people that they are, the path that they've taken in their lives. You stuck to who you are. And that's the most beautiful thing that they failed to do because they failed. And you real. That's why you can now be the muse of inspiration. You can be the blueprint to how they would like to be someday. Because you never, ever were the opposite of real, raw, authentic. Okay? Thank you for your time. This was your love reading. Really hope this helped you and that this was of significance towards You'll find my email listed in the description box below if you would like to book me, okay? I offer personal readings, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as Claudian, Clairvoyant, Clairsentient readings, which are readings that are purely intuitive and prophetic. No cause will be used. Um, and lastly, I do also offer life path readings as well. I'm sending you nothing but love, Taurus. Until next time. Bye.